Riksasana, the tree pose. Stand in Tadasana, creating a solid base, ensuring that you can feel the heels, the outer edges of the foot, tiny toes pressed into the earth and big toes pressed into the earth. Simultaneously at the same time, draw the arches up of the feet as well as Mula Bandha, or the pelvic floor and the lower band of belly just below the navel, sinking it back towards the spine. Keep the buttocks muscles lightly engaged. Take your hands on your hips and find a point directly ahead of eye level on the horizon to focus on. This is called our drishti or our gaze point. Take the weight onto one of your legs and bring the other leg by rotating the knee outwards and the heel resting on the ankle bone. This will first give you a sense of balance and you can draw both of your palms face together into prayer anjali mudra. Pressing the, heel, the heels of the palms in nice and strong so that there is an awareness through the hands. Once you've got your drishti or your focal point, then your next step is to focus on finding your balance. You may like to try the first couple of times against a wall until you feel confident. Now focus on, once again, engaging. Mula Bandha, pelvic floor up, lower band of belly back, buttocks muscles lightly contracted, and take hold of one of your ankles and place the sole of the foot on the inner thigh. To maintain this balance, you can focus on bringing the inner thigh into the foot and the foot into the inner thigh at the same time to really engage your stabilization. Keep your bones of your hips parallel to the front of the mat and then draw one knee back opening out through the hips where possible without losing your balance and without rotating your hips. Inhale and slowly take the palms up towards the sky in front of the face, extending as high as you can above the head and then anchor the shoulders back, releasing through the elbows softly and allow Prayanjali to hover just above your head like a lighted flame of a candle. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and see with nice even breathing how long you're able to balance for. To release, inhale, stretching the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms out and lower the arms down long towards the side at about shoulder height. This will keep your balance by extending the arms out to the side. And then you can stretch the leg out in front, drawing back through the toes, bending the knees, and then gradually planting the foot on the floor. Repeat it on the other side. Before you do, you might like to do a couple of releases through the calf or activation by bringing your heels up and heels down just to keep them warm or alternating walking them. Viksasana, the tree asana, really works on our balance, which is crucial as we get older. Balance isn't just through the core stabilizers, but it's also through the vestibular system where we hear and listen. Gently open up through the hips and it helps to tone the leg muscles. It is good for grounding and centering the body. Excellent for emotional and mental balancing when you're feeling out of sorts. And it helps to strengthen the ankles and increases our overall focus and once again, balance.